So there are a large number of professional options traders who focus on profit opportunities around earnings releases of stocks that they follow. Options follow certain fairly predictable patterns around earnings releases that can result in opportunities for traders who are looking to take advantage of the unique behavior of options near earnings releases. The problem is that it's basically impossible to predict which way a stock will move after earnings, in a legal way anyway. And so you might be asking, how can you possibly make money trading options on companies about to release their earnings reports when the positive or negative nature of the release is impossible to predict? And more importantly, the market's reaction to those earnings releases essentially can't be predicted either. Add to that the extremely dangerous fact that if you somehow do try to predict the market's reaction to a company's earnings report and you end up being wrong, you're virtually guaranteed to take a large loss as the market's reaction to an earnings report for any company is usually a much larger price movement than usual for that equity. The good news is that there is in fact a way to take advantage of earnings releases through trading options without actually having to expose your account to the earnings event itself and the tremendous risk that those releases carry. So If you're wondering how you can possibly make solid high return wins on options trades around earnings without actually exposing yourself to the risk of the earnings releases themselves, then I'd suggest you stick around because I think you're going to learn something very valuable in this video. Hi, I'm Seth Freuberg, and I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk. SMB Capital is a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan, and we provide capital for options and equity traders from all over the world, trading both remotely and in our offices here in New York City. You'll want to click our subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our free trading videos produced for the trading and investing community. So. What I wanted to cover with you today involves the fact that options have an element to their pricing that no other financial instrument has, and that is what is known as the time premium that is embedded in an options price. That time premium can change price for many reasons. One of the major reasons that an options time premium will change dramatically is if there's some kind of an event coming up that's likely to cause the stock to make a large price move in one direction or another. An earnings release is the best example of such a company-specific event. So what happens with options pricing is that as you approach earnings, the time premium, the options for that stock start to gain a lot of value as the risk to the sellers of those options is starting to get really extreme. Now, let's take a look at Alphabet Options, also known as Google Options, and how they've traded around earnings to illustrate my point. So Google stock was trading at about 1200 in March. So here we've gotten options chain for Google options on March 26th, which is 34 days away from the Google earnings release. These options will expire in five days. And as you can see, the options with a strike price of 1225, which are 25 points above the market, are trading at $3.86. So basically, the buyer of the option will break even on the trade if the market moves up 25 points, plus the option premium of 386. So if you do the math, the stock would have to move up over 29 points for the buyer of the stock to break even. Now, let's move ahead 34 days to one hour before the Google April earnings release on April 29th. Now, at this point, Google's trading at 1274.50. And so looking at the options chain expiring five days later, the call options trading about 25 points above the market price is the 1300 call. And as you can see, that one is trading at $10.90. So in other words, the buyer of the call option will only break even if Google moves up over 36 points before the options expire. So comparing the two options chains on options that expire five days later, the calls 25 points above the money are way more expensive one hour from the earnings release compared to the options 34 days out. And that is because there's a much larger chance of the call 25 points above the money being reached five days later if earnings are imminent compared to a a random day 34 days earlier when earnings are not looming when there's no major price moving event coming up. Basically, the market is charging triple its normal prices because of the proximity and time to the earnings release. So in options terms, that means that the options close to expiration contain a much larger implied volatility than the options 
34 days earlier. It's called implied volatility because the market price being so much higher implies that the risk of a larger move is much higher and that risk is getting priced into the options in a big way. Before we get into a specific example of how to trade this phenomenon, which is an earnings play on Alphabet stock, I wanted to mention that we're currently running a two-hour free intensive workshop at the moment. Then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right-hand corner of your screen. That will open up the free registration page in a new window. Or you could just go ahead on over to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It's a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can exploit this property of options as they approach earnings. In other words, how we can exploit that blow up in implied volatility which takes place. So let's take a look back at April 30th looking at the morning after Google released its earnings report. As you can see, Google dropped over 100 points because the market was obviously disappointed by the earnings release. Now, there is a tendency for certain stocks to anticipate that a stock will react to an earnings release the same way that it did to the previous earnings release. In other words, there's kind of a recency bias as to upcoming earnings releases for certain stocks. Some stocks have this tendency and others don't. And there are actually scans available to discover stocks which in fact have this tendency. So if Google was such a stock, then that tendency gives rise to an options play exploiting this. So let's move forward now to July 11th, which is 16 days before the next earnings release, which is on July 24th. Now, as you can see, Google is trading at 11.43. Now, what I'd like you to do is to look at the at the money option expiring in two days. You'll see that it is trading for $3.24. So let's keep that in mind as we enter our options trade around Google's upcoming July 24th earnings report. So now let's say that we have identified through our scans that Google is one of those stocks that tends to sell off before earnings if the previous earnings report caused a substantial downward gap. So with that thesis, we're going to buy two Google puts at about 10 points below the market at 11.32.50 on the options chain that expires two days after Google's earnings are released. We intentionally picked the options chain that expired after earnings because we wanted those options to be affected by the fact that earnings are coming up. If we bought options that expired before the earnings were released, the earnings release would have very little, if any, effect on the pricing, obviously, as they won't be exposed to the big move that usually comes at earnings. Now, you'll see the cost of those puts that we bought is $12.19, and we bought two of those. So the total cost of those options is $4,038 because each options contract represents 100 shares of stock. So the cost is multiplied by 100 to arrive at this total final cost to the trader. Okay, so now let's move forward to a few minutes before the earnings are released two weeks later. As you can see, Google has indeed sold down to 11.32, an 11 point drop from when we first entered the trade two weeks earlier. So our thesis worked out, but what I want you to focus on is what has happened to the value of our 1132.5 options, which are now basically at the money. Now notice that we're two days before expiration of these options, and these at the money options are now worth $26.86. Now remember that I asked you to keep in mind the value of the at the money options two days from expiration on the day we first entered the trade. The at the money options two days from options expiration on July 11th when we entered the trade were worth $3.24. Well now two days before options expiration on July 24th, minutes before the earnings report is released, the at the money options have exploded to $26.86, at which point we could cash the trade in for a $1,328 profit. Incidentally, the market loved the Google's earnings report released after the market closed, and it actually rallied over 100 points the next day, ironically. But we still made money on our bearish play because the market bias was that Google was likely to have a negative reaction to the earnings release and thus sold off prior to earnings based on the fact that it gapped down so far in the previous earnings release. So what I'd like you to take away from today's video is that you can gain an edge with options that you can't get with buying or shorting shares of stock, and that is the explosive 
increases in value of options right before an earnings report is released. So just as the at the money options minutes before this earnings release were worth eight times as much as the at the money options two weeks earlier, if you find through scans that are available, tendencies in stocks before earnings based on previous earnings report releases, you can add a major edge to your profit potential by expressing your trade using options and enjoying the explosion in implied volatility that invariably takes place before earnings. Now, just to remind you, as I said earlier, if you enjoyed this video and would like to learn three more real world option strategies that our traders use, including the surprisingly simple strategy that some of the greatest investors in the world, like Warren Buffett, use all the time, plus an options trading strategy that has a statistical 80% probability of profit month in and month out, plus an option strategy that you can employ with a stock that you like where you'll make your target profit whether the stock goes up, goes nowhere, or even goes down a small percentage, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. So just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free registration page in the new window. Or you can just head over to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It's a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. And one more thing I'd like you to do is go ahead, please, and click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of our trading videos produced for the trading and investing community. And while you're at it, please add your feedback in the comment section for what videos you'd like us to produce next, as well as what you found to be helpful from today's video. So from all of us here at SMB, trade well.